In today's Adobe Illustrator tutorial, we will create paper cutout landscape. You will see easy way to make cutout effect, apply shadows and use 3D effect to add more depth in this illustration. To create this paper cutout design, we'll need pencil tool, pen tool, ellipse and rectangle tools. Any beginner will be able to create trendy paper cutout illustrations with this tutorial. You're watching TNT Tutorials, let's move on and create a new document. Go to Print, A4. Choose Horizontal Orientation in Advanced Options, select RGB and click on Create. You can download this image reference and colors in the video description. Just create layers for them, rename them like this. Then create a new layer, rename it to Landscape. Then I for eyedropper tool, pick this color. M for rectangle tool, draw rectangle like so. P for pen tool and draw a shape like this. Then A for direct selection tool and fix points like this. Then V for selection tool, select both objects, go to properties and in Pathfinder click to minus front. Then press Ctrl C, Ctrl F, select this layer, make it smaller like so. I for eyedropper tool and pick this color. Now A for direct selection tool and move these points like this. Then you might want to change this shape. You might see that you have too many points, you can delete them like so. Now with this layer selected, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, select this layer, I for eyedropper tool and pick this color. Make the subject smaller, like so. You might want to change this shape. After this, create a new layer, bring it here. I for eyedropper tool, pick this color, P for pen tool, and within this layer, draw a shape like this. V for selection tool, deselect this object, select it again. Ctrl C, Ctrl F. In Properties panel, click on Flip along horizontal axis. Move this copy here. Bring it down and pick this color. Alright, A for Direct Selection tool. Select these points and move them like so. I will move these shapes just a bit like this. Then create a new layer again. I for Eyedropper tool. Pick this color. P for Pen tool. And let's draw first mountain, like this. Let's bring this layer down. Deselect this mountain. I for eyedropper tool, pick this color. Pen tool. Now V for selection tool, deselect this object. Pick this color. Pen tool. And let's draw a shape like this. Connect these points, go to Properties panel, click on Opacity and change Mode to Multiply. Then change Opacity to 90%. If you need to change shape of this layer, A for Direct Selection tool and Move Points. Then just take this layer and bring it here to duplicate it. Select this layer and move it here. Bring it down and let's change proportions here so these mountains would look different. Alright, let's make these mountains just a little bit smaller, like so. Place them here. Drag this layer here to make another copy. Select it. Move it like so and drag it down. Let's change proportions here. I will delete this point, P for pen tool and click on this point. Let's bring shadow here. Let's just create final mountain copy. Select it, bring it down like so and move it here. Then I will simply change proportions like so and make it a little bit smaller.
Alright, so let's now select here each mountain and group it. Ctrl G, Ctrl G for this one, and for this. So all these mountains are grouped, and we can create clouds. Pick this color, draw lips like so, V for selection tool, duplicate it, change sizes of these ellipses, and move them like this. Right now select these two, go to properties panel and click vertical align button. P for pen tool, click here, click here and create a shape like this. Select all these layers, in properties panel, click on unite. Now in properties panel again, click offset path, click on preview and select minus one point. Select this copy, double click on gradient tool, select linear. Just drag it like so, place white marker somewhere here, and this one here. In properties panel, change opacity to 5%. Select both layers and group them. I will close this gradient panel. We won't duplicate this cloud for now, we will do it just a little bit later. I for eyedropper tool, pick this color, L for ellipse tool, draw ellipse here, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, make this one smaller, double click for gradient tool. Select linear, drag it like this, I will move this marker just a bit, like so, then double click on this dark marker, select RGB here, go to swatches, and pick some orange color, like so. Now click on this white marker, and change opacity to 0. Go to properties panel, click on opacity, change blending mode to multiply, select both layers, Ctrl G to group them. Now let's create all these trees. Create a new layer, place it here. I for eyedropper tool, pick this color. P for pen tool. Click here on swap fill and stroke. Create a line like this. Now go to properties panel and change stroke to something like this. Now select width tool, it's over here. And change width to something like this. Then create two branches. One here and another one here. Select them both, change width to something like this. Then with tool again. And apply it like so. L for ellipse tool. Draw ellipse like this. Click here to swap fill and stroke. Just duplicate it like so. Make some of them smaller. Select this layer and duplicate it. We will create another tree right now. You can delete some ellipses to make changing easier. I think this will work for us, so select each one of them and group them. I will open this layer and move this one right here, so they would be in a separate layers. Now P for pen tool and just draw a shape like this. Alright, now zoom in, A for direct selection tool, and change proportions. M for rectangle tool, draw a rectangle here, I will move these points also, select these layers, and unite them. Now duplicate this one, and change proportions. Just like so. I will open this layer group and will separate all these layers. Pick pencil tool, draw grass like this. You can release pencil tool and then continue to draw it like so. We will be able to move points after we draw these shapes. So let's just have a base shape and then we will edit it. P for pen tool, click on this point, click here, here and connect them. Now pick this color, 
A for direct selection tool and fix any points that you want to. P for pen tool to delete points. I think I will leave it as it is. I will change shape of this layer just a bit, like so. Select these layers, group them, and you might want to copy this layer and rename it to backup, because right now we will unite these layers and you might want to have backup layer just in case. I will not do this, I will simply unite it, ungroup, unite. Now pick this color, M for rectangle tool, build a rectangle like this, right click, arrange, send to back, lock this layer, and now let's place all these trees to our composition. But first of all, when you're placing them, just duplicate them, go to Object, Expand Appearance, and after this move them to your scene, because you want to have backup layer just in case. Make this one smaller, unite it, ungroup, unite. Place it somewhere here, then grab this one, Object, Expand Appearance, ungroup, unite. Pick this color for it, make it smaller. And place it somewhere here, then duplicate this one right here, make it smaller, now this one, pick this color, bring it down, duplicate it again like so, change proportions if you want to. Now let's duplicate this one over here, make it smaller, pick this color and build a lot of copies. Like so. Now scale them, scale them randomly. Place another one here, pick this color, make it even smaller. Let's create a few more copies. And now let's select these layers. Go to Properties panel, click on Unite. The same here with these ones, select all of them, unite them, place them down like so. The same here, Unite. Let's do the same over here. Unite these ones also, place them down. I will simply delete these layers, you can leave it if you want. If you see some empty layers, you can just delete them. And also remember that before uniting these objects, just like I did, you should make copy of these ununited layers and just make them invisible, because you might want to change something later and it would be difficult to do this after you united these layers. Select this layer, Effect. 3D, extrude and bevel. Go to front, enter minus 2 here and minus 2 here. Select 20 points in this field and then just click OK. Object, expand appearance. Now this is not 3D object anymore. Right click, ungroup. Then double click on this group, open it here, select this layer and make it invisible. Now we can see unnecessary layers. Just delete them. Select these ones and press Ctrl G. Now we have only two layers here, so make this one visible again and double click somewhere on the workspace to exit this mode. Now let's make pick and color easier. Ungroup this layer for now, pick this one and apply this color. Now go for this group, pick this color also, but let's make this color brighter. Double click here on fill and pick bright color. Now let's select them here and group them. Now let's do the same with this layer. Effect, 3D, Extrude and Bevel. Click on Preview, select Front, enter minus 2 here, minus 2 here, and 20 points in this menu. Click on Preview again, I will click OK. Now Object, Expand Appearance. Right click, Ungroup. Then double click on this group, open it, make this layer invisible, delete all unnecessary layers, select these ones, and press Ctrl G. Now make this layer visible again. Exit this mode. Right click, ungroup, pick this color, select this group, pick the same color here and apply brighter color. Click OK. Now let's do the same with this layer. Effect, 3D, extrude and bevel, front, minus 2, minus 2, 20 points and click OK. Then object, expand appearance, right click, ungroup, Double click on this group, open it, make this layer invisible, delete all unnecessary layers, select these ones, Ctrl G, make this layer visible again, 
Double click somewhere on the workspace. Now zoom in. Ungroup these layers. Select this one. Pick this color. Now select this group. Pick the same color. And make it brighter. Alright. You can see that we've added some volume to these objects. Let's add shadows. But first group these ones. Now let's apply shadows. Select all these layers. Go to Appearance panel. Click here. Stylize. Drop Shadow. Let's apply these values for now. Click OK. And after this you can copy layers that you want. And change for example blue ring. Just select layer that you want to change. Go to Appearance. Click on Applied Effect. And change blue ring. Let's say, let's change it for 15%. Click OK. So as you can see, the most important in illustrations with paper cutout effect is to come up with idea of what you want to draw exactly. Then just use tips and effects from this tutorial and create paper cut illustration using only basic tools. If you learned something new from this tutorial, drop a comment below and let me know if everything was clear enough for you. If you enjoyed this tutorial, support this channel by clicking on subscribe and what's most important by clicking on the bell icon to get notifications about newest tutorials from TNT. I would also appreciate if you'll click thumbs up and will share this video. This was TNT Tutorials. See you in next videos.